Today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Okay, well today we are at a Schoolhouse Antiques and we are in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Um, they are open today. <laughs> Last time I was here in Palmyra, I was so excited to come out here. I've only been here once before and I was so excited the last time I was out this way. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go again. It'll be my second time. And they were closed. I guess they're closed on Tuesdays and I, for some reason, decided to come out here on Tuesday. So anyway, they're open today. There's quite a few cars in the parking lot, but we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a So here we go. That looks like it could be a Moravian tile for three bucks. It is a Moravian tile, marked there on the back, MR, it's a frog, oh it's marked on the front too, look at that, three bucks on the Moravian tile, I found on average, I think those sell for 15 to 20, sometimes more than other tiles, what is squirrel, this, that is everything to me right now, $12, mermaid plate, yes please, everything, right there. This is everything. We can leave now. I'm just, I was just kidding. We're not leaving. Um, <laughs> this plate down here also um, caught my attention. This one is actually um, painted in occupied Japan, made in occupied Japan. Um, a lot of the times I'll show occupied Japan on this channel and I've noticed that a lot of people are under the impression that because it is occupied Japan, it's worth a lot of money. That is not the case. It not occupied Japan does not equal that if something is worth a lot of money um, it's just made in occupied Japan now some stuff made in occupied Japan can be worth a lot of money some people some things made in Germany can be worth a lot of money uh, it's just you know made in occupied Japan but I just I think this is really darling I like the swans and uh, hangs on the wall is it worth a lot of money it's not worth a lot of money but it's worth some money and uh, I didn't even look at the price, to be honest. It's $12. We're going to buy it. This picture here has some etching and also hand-painted enamel, which is in good shape for its age. With the stopper. 13 bucks. I'll take that for 13 And I was also considering these. Uh, I think that this is an open sugar and cream. Mer. Although it looks an awful lot like a vase. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would make sense that it was an open sugar and creamer. I don't know. Right? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to venture down into the basement. I did find some stuff down here the last time, but I remember the music was a little bit loud. So I'm going to do my best to film down here. And we'll see what we can find. Well, I had to carry this one away from the speaker, but this is just like a little crafty thing. It's a stamp dispenser. It looks like it's turned wood. Um, and it has these stickers on it. $10.85. I don't know. I thought this was pretty neat. I think it's definitely vintage. You don't have to use it as a stamp dispenser. You could put earrings in it or jewelry. I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Look at that dragonfly. Glass dragonfly. I don't... Oh, we can open this one. Ah. $15 on a dragonfly. I'll take the dragonfly for 15 Okay. Viking two-piece fairy light, rare, Santa Claus. All right, so I've only got one hand, <laughs> but I pulled this out of um, the glass case right here. I was walking by and happened to notice um, that they had some art pottery in here. There are actually two pieces. Um, ooh, sounds like a dog's barking. Um, this is uh, two pieces pottery, $15 plate and bowl. They are marked, and I feel like I've seen that marking before. I don't know it. If you know it, let me know in the comments. It almost looks like MB. I don't know, it's a beautiful design though with the flowers. I'm gonna buy them for 15. 
I was also noticing this down here though. That's kind of a nice piece of glass for 30 bucks. <laughs> Maybe we'll take that with us too. Well, our total spend there at Schoolhouse Antiques today was $158, I believe. And it's so funny because the vendor, um, the first booth I went to, the vendor just followed me out. And she told me that the picture that I bought, the one that I thought was Czech, the one that kind of leans with the hand painted, the clear one with the hand painting on it, um, she said she actually brought that back from Germany when she went to visit her son. So I thought that was amazing. That's like, that's such a, she said it was really hard to put it out for sale because she brought it back back from Germany. I'm like, oh, well, I will find a very good home for it because I think that's amazing. So I wanted to pass it on to you guys so that, you know, if, if one of you decides to buy it now, you know that it came from Germany. She brought it back with her. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go back over to Black Spawn now to go get my birds because they were able to um, bring them down 20%. And I'm like, okay, I'll take them. <laughs> so I'm going to go get the birds now. And if you didn't see that video, I'm buying some birds. <laughs> All right, well, I will see you guys tomorrow. So long. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.